Okay, another common question um, every doctor asks me when I do the uh, workshops is what are the books I need to read for the AMC clinical exam? You know, for some reason, you know, people complicate things. When I was preparing for the AMC clinical, I read only two books. When I say two books, that means only two books. And I passed all my 16 stations. Again, I'm not a genius. I'm telling this because I want to tell that an ordinary student like me passed the AMC clinical and you can pass as well. All you need to do is lots of practice. I will, I will probably give you more tips about that in one of the video. But um, if you ask me, Dr. Talari, can you tell me only one book? I don't have much time. I want to read only one book. Okay, so this is the book I will tell that you have to read. And if you don't read this, I'm telling you, you will fail the exam without any doubt. It is AMC Handbook of Clinical Assessment. Okay, this is one book you need to be reading thoroughly. And this is the book where you need to practice role plays with your friends. Okay, so if you ask me one book only, I'm going to tell it is AMC Handbook of Clinical Assessment. Again, I'm not telling John Murtha. And if you ask me, Dr. Talari, I have a bit more time. I want to read one more book. Then I will say, read John Murtha. But my sincere advice would be um, AMC Handbook of Clinical Assessment. Many people are fancy about recalls. So I'll probably do some videos about recalls and things like that. But make sure you read AMC Handbook of Clinical Assessment as many times as possible. I read this book probably seven to eight times. And the good thing is I got three uh, cases from the book. So, you know, it was a piece of cake when I was dealing with those cases. But more or less, the cases in the AMC clinical exam will be slightly modified from the AMC Handbook of Clinical Assessment. So read this book thoroughly. Don't read any other book. Start with this book. Again, like in my study plan video, start with pediatrics. Then start with gynecology obstetrics. Then do um, psychiatry. Then do emergency medicine. Then go to medicine. Okay, so if you go as per this strategy, you will smash the exam. And make sure you join the 2015 AMC clinical study group where I will be posting more videos and uh, hopefully you guys can learn a lot. I wish you all the best.